Let's have a user view of a report. So we're going to create an empty data logger first. This is just somewhere we can store the report. So, you know, I'm going to call it dummy for report. You can call it whatever you want. If I right click, I'm going to go down and create or edit a report. I'm just going to say yes to this. There's no table, so it makes no difference. So come up to this icon here. I want to go to my data adapter. And I want to create a new data source. Again, you can call it anything you want. Hit next. We have to set a connection. So it's an SQL. Next. Hit the drop down to find your server, or you can type it in if you know it. So there's my local instance. Now use the Windows NT integrated, that's Windows security. Okay, or you've got username and password. So let's select the database. So I've just created a, a dummy view in one of my databases. I'm just going to find it in here. Just test the connection. Yep, it's, it's connected fine. Hit OK. Hit Next. It's brought the tables up, but it's also got the view. So I'm going to hit the view. Finish. And now when you come over to your field list, you'll notice there's a new data set. There's the view inside. I'm just going to drag everything over. Make it so it fits at least. Now, when I run this report in a moment, you'll notice there's nothing for nothing for data value too. That's because the first few records are actually null. So there's nothing to display onto screen. So let's just do the preview. You can see that that's from a view.